you will have to pay the employer you should pay the amount to the employer okay hi dear friends welcome back today let's talk about an important topic you can see on the screen the topic what happen if an employee is not completed notice period as per the government rule as per the government labor law if you are terminated or if you resign the job or if you are going to change the sponsorship to another company you will have to respect the notice period it means if you are if you resign the job or if you are going to uh, change the sponsorship you should inform the employer one month before or two months before the same time uh, if you are terminated by the company the company should inform you one month before or two months before uh, this duration will be calculated as per your service period if your service period more than two years your notice period will be two months if your service period less than two years your notice period will be one month in any case if your notice period one month or two months this duration you should work with the current employer and the employer should pay the amount uh, as a salary for this duration for this uh, notice period in any situation an employee an employee could not complete the notice period it means suppose uh, you are notice period one month you work only two weeks uh, another two weeks you did not you could not work in in the company so in this situation you should pay the amount for the employer this amount will be calculated as per your basic salary suppose uh, your basic salary is 1500 you work two weeks you did not work uh, another two weeks so uh, 1500 is the basic salary and for the two weeks 750 750 rupees you will have to pay the employer for uh, as a compensation so be careful when uh, during the notice period you should work with the current employer and employer should pay the amount for you okay so if you could not complete the uh, notice period later you should pay the amount uh, to the employer as per your basic salary the, as i told you if your basic salary 1200 1500 and you work two weeks you did not work another two weeks you will have to pay 750 real for the employer okay so it's recommended during the notice period maximum try to work with the, um, uh, your current employer because if you are not present in during the notice period in the current uh, with the current employer there is a chance to file a case against you uh, and absconding or any other fault uh, the case against you so be careful during the notice period you should work with the current employer and get the money for this duration okay Share this information to all of your friends and families. Stay tuned here and for more update. Okay. Thank you.